Live View on the Nikon D300S enables you to display a real-time video image on the monitor instead of using the regular optical viewfinder to take your photos. Now whether or not Live View is something you'll want to use very often, I think it's worth taking a closer look at because pretty much everything to know about shooting with Live View also applies to shooting movies. So if you want to shoot movies with the D300S, you first need to understand Live View. Let's begin by going to the Shooting Menu tab and selecting the Live View Mode menu. There are two options, Tripod and Handheld. The difference between them is how the camera does the autofocusing. Let's select Handheld and then press the Live View button to turn it on. The little icon in the corner is there to remind us we're using the handheld mode. With handheld mode, the camera must lower the mirror to focus, so when you press the shutter button halfway down, the monitor will go blank for as long as you hold it down. And that's not so good when you're trying to shoot candids or follow action. How long do you have to hold down the button? Well, that depends. The camera won't do anything to indicate when it has finished focusing. So you have to listen to the lens. When the lens stops focusing, the camera is probably ready to take the picture. Another thing I don't like about this mode is that the sound of the mirror moving can be mistaken for the sound of the shutter. If you're shooting posed photos of friends or family, this can cause them to think that you just took the photo, when all you really did was focus. Fortunately, there's a better option. Let's go back to the Live View Mode menu. Choose Tripod, and then press the Live View button again. Notice that now the icon in the corner tells us we're using the Tripod Mode. This mode makes Live View a much more viable shooting option. To focus the camera now, I do not press the shutter button. I use the Auto Focus On button instead. And then the camera will focus on whatever is located behind the Auto Focus Indicator box. I find that focusing with the tripod mode is nearly as fast as with the handheld mode, but you don't have to put up with the annoying sound of the mirror slapping out of the way. The monitor never blanks out, and you don't have to guess if the camera has finished focusing or not. If you're going to use Live View or shoot movies, tripod is the mode to use. To get more great digital photography tips for your camera, be sure to check out larkbooks.com digital. Thank you for watching and have fun shooting.